Timon Kaczynski and Felix Zemdegs, two of the world's best 3x3 solvers, ready to go head-to-head -head in this best-of-seven sets of first-to-three solves. Today's winner secures their spot in the Monkey League Season 2 Grand Final. The competitors will alternate starting solves and starting sets, and Timon, with the faster median in the previous round, chose to start first. Correct. And Timon starting smooth, the 563, a terrible last layer with that end perm, but the F2L was incredible there. He was done with F2L, like low three there. And well, Felix needing to beat a 563 already. We are off and going here in this first set. Oh, and Felix with just a few too many lockups, you could tell he was going for it. Beating a 563, not easy. Now that was the kind of solve where, you know, typically if Felix was just solving on his own, I bet he'd get like a low six, maybe a mid six there. But uh, because he was trying to beat that 563, he was going all out turn speed. And you know, his solution probably had the potential, but Correct. you just gotta be flawless against Timon. And well, Felix will start this solve. <sighs> Seconds. Oh, the F2L from Felix is amazing, but Felix just flubbing the last layer in the U perm. Oh no. Well, Felix showing signs of greatness, but hasn't found his consistency just yet. And well, Timon will take advantage of this opportunity. Needs to beat an 879 here on the second solve. Oh, and Timon with a timer issue, uncharacteristic. It's a resolve. And because of that, we will have a resolve. So Felix with that 879, well, it is gone. It never happened. And Timon's timer malfunction will result in a resolve for both competitors. Uh, and well, Felix is uh, taking that blessing and let's see if he can improve and try and put it down a better time uh, for Team One to have to beat. Brilliant F2L, but well, the last layer was just sluggish. Uh, s low TPS for Felix, and he just could not execute that Y perm properly, but he found a really nice F2L solution there, and a 603 is not going to be trivial to beat. And it looks like Timon is doing the exact same solution, or similar, and a 549! Oh my goodness! Let's go! Well, Timon definitely got a more favorable last layer case, but he also executed the F2L with less lockups, and, well, both of those factors contributing to a half-second win there for Timon. Correct. Correct. 15-second warning. And, well, Timon with an opportunity to take the first set here, 3-0. Let's see what he can get on this Sol to put maximum pressure on Felix. Eight seconds. Oh, and a few more pauses during that F2L and a huge pause before that E perm and a 650. Now for most competitors, that would be a pretty good time, but for Team On and, and considering what happened to that solve, that was a big mess up. Well, let's see if Felix can take advantage and try and beat the 650 here to stay in this first set. Eight seconds. 
Oh no, and Felix just did not inspect properly and whatever he saw during inspection, well, he didn't carry it forward to the start of the solve and Timon's gonna take a 3-0 win in the first set. Uh, nothing went Felix's way there and well, Timon just dominated. Well, it's, it's, it's a long match and you know, best of seven sets, so we're only getting started here, but so far it's looking like Timon's day. Felix looking to get off to a better start here as he will start the second set. Eight seconds. Oh, his F2L's brilliant! Look at that last pair! And the timer is delayed. 628. Fantastic from Felix. Eight seconds. Twelve. Oh. What an F2 on a 538! Are you serious? Oh my god. Timon is insane today. <laughs> what is happening? That smooth F2L right into a ZB, and that is flawless from Team on Felix losing with a 628. He's gonna have to get low fives apparently in this match to have any shot. Correct. 15 second warning. That's a really nice F2L case, but so many lockups from the late F2L transition into the last layer for Team on a 629. But that was a really nice F2L case on white, and we'll see if Felix can execute it better. Oh well, it didn't look like it's not super straightforward. We'll see if Felix can find it here. He is going for white. Oh, that's nice from Felix. Where's the ZB? Ah, oh, too many lockups in a 738. Wow, it just seems like every time Felix finds something, he can't quite put it together, and too many lockups. It's gotta be the nerves, maybe the sense that he's just not quite quick enough, and when Timon keeps putting down these insane times, Correct. it's just tough to uh, solve your best, and well, I think that's what's happening to Felix here, but well, he's gonna start this solve, and down 2-0 in the set, he's gonna hope to bounce back here. Again, a pretty good F12 from Felix, but lockups going into LL and more lockups, a 684. Felix is just so close to solving his best, but, well, he's also so far. And, well, for Timon, beating a 684 looks to be guaranteed for him today. We'll see if he slips up here. Timon trying to take the second set 3-0, just like the first one. And there's the ZB. Yes! And a 631. Even with the lockups, it was just so efficient. And Timon takes the second set, three to nothing. Wow, Timon has taken the first six solves in this match, and he's been ridiculous. His median is really low. Timon's worst solve of the match so far has been a 650, and his median is sub 6. For, for perspective, Felix's best solve is a 603, which is worse than Timon's median. Now, that's, that's a bit skewed by the fact that Felix is, you know, tr trying to beat these 5s, and, you know, well, when you try to beat 5s and you don't get it, maybe you get a 7, and, well, that pressure can affect things, but... Still, Timon is insane today. 
Felix is going to need to turn on God mode, world record mode to try and beat Timon here. And Timon, who started the first set, will now start the third set, looking to continue his incredible performance so far, averaging sub six. Oh, a little bit of a mishap during that F2L, but an amazing last layer. Second. That fluidity was am amazing and just found the solution right at the end, getting him a 633. Well, Felix, maybe he feels like this is his best chance. I mean, this is like Team On's worst time, so. And a beautiful yeah. solve, and Felix wins, oh, oh. and he is happy, finally winning a solve against Team On in this match. A 568. And he's thrilled about that. Beating Team One is not easy, especially when he's averaging sub six. And well, those slight uh, mishaps during F two L for Team One cost him. Well, that's only one solve, and he's got a lot more to go. But he's in it with a shout. Oh, a brilliant F2L from Felix! Oh my goodness, a 545! Even with the V-perm, and Felix is turning on God mode when he needs it! Let's see if Team on can beat a 545. That was a brilliant F2L from Felix. Can Team on find it too? The lockup so Oh my gosh, the F2L was insane! A 477! A 477! <laughs> <laughs> the level of this competition is unparalleled. This is the fastest cubing you've ever seen ever on the internet in real life of all time. And both competitors going head to head, bringing their best solves and absolutely flawless. <laughs> Both competitors just smiling, happy with their amazing solves right now. Well, Let's see if Timon can maintain focus. Will the excitement get to him? Oh, a bit of a lockup. Oh, but a terrible OLL, a terrible PLL, and a 742. Finally, Timon slips up and, well, Felix, if he's ever needed a sub seven, he needs it now. Bet not, no, no, no other time has Timon allowed uh, s such a winnable situation. And well, t Felix has to take advantage. Quick blue cross, the F2L is great. And a, soon into our permit, a 597. He's safety to 597. These guys are ridiculous. I cannot even believe the level of competition we are seeing here. Two to one for Felix. And well, we are moving into this final solve where Felix has a chance to take the third set and get a little bit closer to Timon's dominant 2-0 start. Well, on the other hand, Timon, well, he will try and put some pressure on Felix here. <sighs> Felix starting first, giving Timon all the information he needs, but in the case that Timon did win, Felix would be starting second on the last solve, so, you know, it's really all hands off going for the best here. And a little bit of a lockup in F12. Oh no, the cross! And a smooth transition to the PLL, but a 706. It was just that cross in the first couple pairs that cost him there. And when you're going against Timon, you gotta be absolutely flawless. Let's see if Timon can safety a sub 706. Eight seconds. Oh, he's pausing! He's pausing forever! He's pausing for an eternity! He's pausing for the entire history of the universe! And an 855! And Felix, who by some miracle, wins the third set. What was that?
I predicted second pair completely wrong. And I said Felix had to be flawless, but Timon has to be flawless too. It goes both ways. These guys are putting on an incredible show for us today. I hope you're enjoying it at home. And now we move into the fourth set after Felix took that third set by some miracle and Timon who started off incredibly is gonna try and get back into it here. Currently up 2-1 in the sets, having won the first six sols, Lost that third one three to one and I got batteries right now. Correct. And here he goes. Drying off the hands. Right. Oh no! He was going for something fancy there, but the fourth oh, pair just didn't insert itself and he was left with a keyhole finish. A 705, but what could have been? Felix seeing something there, trying to go team on style with the insane efficiency and fancy solution. Couldn't quite do it. And while well, Timon put in the exact same position he was in in the last solve of the previous set, will he be able to beat a 705 here? What is this massive pause? Oh, what an insane man. pause before that ZB. He did like a U3. He was on ZB at s like five seconds. If he did the OLL then the PLL, he would have won. But again, Timon can't beat a 7.0X. Well, Timon's gonna need to regain his composure here because in a match against Felix Zemdegs, if you're losing the sevens, well, it's not good for your chances. Eight seconds. And more lockups. Oh, there's the 15 second warning. Timon seems to have lost his flow. And he's, he's, he's been, he's, I don't know what to say. He started off in God mode and now, well, he's just in normal mode and a 670. Let's see if Felix can beat this when it matters most. A few lockups during F12, but it looks solid for Felix. A smooth last layer. No, a 676, and the R perm just couldn't finish fast enough, and that hurts for Felix. 1-1 one, one in the set, and we are going into these final three solves, both competitors needing to win two out of the next three to take this set, and this is a crucial, crucial set. You do not want to go down 3-1. You, uh, well, if you're team on, you don't want to get a 2-2 tie here, so this is going to be big nerves for both of them. In a head-to-head -head competition, being able to safety solves, you know, beating a 670. For these competitors, that is something that is safetyable, and being able to master that exact speed is what makes people like Team on so dominant in this format. An unfortunate cases for Felix continue a 710. Is that a DNF? Oh, and and Timon's not gonna let this slip this time. A 595, finally beating a low seven. Third time's the charm for Timon, and well, he's up 2-1 in the match and 2-1 in the set. This will be a crucial solve for Timon and for Felix. Felix looking to even up the set to try and even up the match. Timon looking to take a 3-1 lead, and we all know what happens when you go up 3-1.
Well, Timon's gonna start this solve, letting Felix know what the time to beat is. Eight seconds. And these guys gotta be absolutely clutch in every possible opportunity. And a lock up on the Y perm. It was a great solve, but not as good as it could have been. A 601. And I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this is a good opportunity for Felix here against a 601. And I'm only saying that because the F2L seemed reasonable for Timon. And if Felix can find something similar. Does he know the ZB? No! So many lockups and Felix just resetting. He had his F2L right where it needed to be and the ZB was just too complicated. A really terrible case and he just couldn't get it done. Well, Timon's gonna take a 3-1 lead in this match, taking that last set 3-1. 15 second warning. It looks like Timon has actually lost his flow in F2L. I know it may look not look like it to the untrained eye, but his F2L is just not as quick as it usually is. And that last layer was actually pretty good, so a 683. And once again, Felix needing to beat a high 6 here, but shaking his head at the scramble, that's never a good sign. He tied! Are you serious? I cannot think of a more fitting result. Both competitors struggling. They're shaking their heads. They're getting 683s and another tie. Well, that's going to be a point for neither competitors. Correct. Correct. Seconds. Twelve seconds. Oh, Felix locking through that solution, and it was a bit unwieldy, even with all those lockups of six eighty seven. So you can imagine that solution's efficiency. Drilling that alg that he just messed up and for these kinds of competitors at the highest level being able to execute those algorithms those 21 PLLs those 57 OLLs those are absolutely essential and team on a 605 safetying that win and Felix has got to be kicking himself there He had a sub 6 in the making without all those final lockups A bit of hesitation for team on a beautiful last layer though and a 586 team on looks like he uses a different algorithm for that u perm and it works much better for him well felix is gonna is probably gonna struggle with this f2l because it did not look great for team on and somehow he's gonna try and beat a 586 here Oh, and he got a worst, a worst PLL, a much worse PLL case, and a 713.
Felix has been struggling with his algorithm executions and well, his F-Duel has been pretty solid, the efficiency has been good, but maybe it's just a little bit too slow, a little bit too high move count, not finding the optimal stuff, and Timon just doesn't leave any room for error. And this is true, a match point situation. Felix needs to win every solve in the remainder of this set. Timon has the chance to win the match. 12 seconds. Oh, and that F2 is just too... Oh, and a DNF! A DNF, and that's going to be it. Team on just has to solve the cube here to win the match. <sighs> well, let's see how safe he'll go here. He knows he needs to just solve it. And Felix put up a valiant effort, but he could just not find the most consistent form against Team on an absolute god. And well, Team On not gonna show his best solving here, most likely. Just gonna save. Are you kidding me? What a safety solve of 526! That was ridiculous. F2L on a safety, and Team On wins the match, <laughs> nice. four sets to That's one, match, right? taking the first two sets three nothing, yeah. taking the last set three nothing. There were only a couple sets in there that were not completely dominated by Team On. Is this? The match? Yes. Yes! yes. Oh my god, let's go. <gasps> what? That was ridiculous! So, um, I have some questions, um, for the interview hey, section do here. Do we have the medians? What was my median? Um, wait, like team, on te tell your camera up. <laughs> okay. Uh, your median was 617. Ah, okay. So, and Felix had a 696. Okay, well, I got some questions. I got some questions. Well, first of all, Timon, you got off to an insane start. You were averaging sub six, getting a plenty of low five, and you just put the pressure on. First of all, why did you choose to start first? That seemed to go counter your, to your typical strategy. Yeah, well, I was just assuming that I'm going to lose, like, at least one solve. So if I lose one solve, in a set where you have to get free solves, it's it's just better. Because, like, starting second only really works if you win the free solves in a row. Wow. So y you figured that you'd be more likely to lose one solve and not two solves. Well, I wasn't thinking about losing two solves. I was thinking about either winning three or <laughs> losing <laughs> one. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, uh, Felix... You got back into this match I, with... I, I uh, have to say something. Yeah? It, it turned out to not really work because I won three in a row both, both sets at first. <laughs> well, I, well, that's what I was thinking. Felix, yeah. I mean, Timon was solving out of his mind in the beginning. Did that affect you at all, knowing that you had to beat like 5.4s? Mm, no, I, I couldn't have made much of a difference for the first couple of sets. Like, I was, I was doing pretty bad, but even if I was doing better, I would have had no chance the first couple. Yeah, um, well, I don't think anyone would. The ones after that. The ones after Because like, I knew he'd, he'd slow down at some point, maybe. Had a chance at some point, And it didn't take those chances at all. Well, well, actually, in the third set, he did slow down. And you managed <laughs> to win with, like, some low sevens, I believe. Um, uh, I think I won the last solve, but I got a seven, and then he... Yeah, he yeah. But I had, like, three fives in a row. <laughs> true, so. true. But I, yeah, I mean, that was, that was nice. I, but there was also that one solve that you got like a five point four and you got a four seventy seven. I, I mean, how do you? Yeah, that was easy. That was an easy scramble. Okay, okay, but how do you like stay focused? I mean, I mean, you've got to be feeling some sort of excitement or like amazement at what's going on. Like, does that kind of excitement make you worse, better? What, what's going on there? Um, in that third set, because I was, because I was solving well. Uh, it was fine. Yeah, uh, that was. I was like, oh, it's, you know, I can get a five point four and lose, but that doesn't really. <laughs> that doesn't really get. That's not really that annoying. Like yeah. the annoying one is like when I mess up like three PLLs in a row, <laughs> <laughs> drop the cube or stupid stuff like that, when I should be getting like low sixes and trying to put some sort of pressure on. And then yeah, those the the five point four and stuff. That's less frustrating. <laughs> Interesting. Than just the, the chokes. 
All right. Well, team on you remain undefeated, completely dominating this league so far. Um, you've just uh, guaranteed your spot in uh, grand finals. So, you know, how, how are you feeling about today's performance, and uh, what are you looking Wait, forward so does to? That mean I don't like I only have one match left. Yep. So I'm either second or, or first. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, uh, the start of the match was obviously really good, and then. I don't know what happened in the first set. It was just really bad. I think uh, the the lube in my kid broke in a lot after the second set, so it, it took me like the first set to get used to the speed. Maybe I don't know. Interesting. Okay, well, Felix, you're gonna be watching closely uh, this next match to see who wins, who you'll face uh, in the second third place match try and get yourself back to face team on <laughs> um <laughs> uh how'd you feel about your performance today were you satisfied what what would what didn't you like what did you like uh no it was, <laughs> was i was not particularly pleased as you could probably tell by some of the reactions um inspections and stuff were generally okay i think i just like failed a lot of PLLs and end of soul stuff. Um, maybe that was, you know, needing to, to rush those sorts of things to put pressure on Timo and I'll beat Timo, but I can uh, hopefully I'll be better next next week. All right. Well, thank you so much, Felix. Thank you so much, Timo. You guys put on an insane show that the chat was going crazy today. Um, you know, a lot of ties, a lot of close sets, a lot of fast solves, and you know, I, I that's that's really that's really what we're all here for. Good fun, um, so I really appreciate it. And uh, you know, Timon, we'll see you back here in the finals. Felix, we'll see you in the uh, playoffs to get into the finals. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much, everyone. We will be back in a moment.